to burn fat, we have to oxidize it. But there's kind of a hierarchy when it comes to that. The body doesn't just oxidize uh, body fat, all right? So I'm gonna pull up a diagram and hopefully it will explain a little bit about um, weight loss and most certainly my approach to weight loss. So let me pull it up. Here you go, all right. So oxidative priority. So this is your blood. The peach arrow is your blood, all right? Um, and we want to get to body fat, right? We want to burn body fat. But there's all these obstacles here that's got to, the body's got to get, you know, we've got to use these before we can get to this, right? So the number one thing is blood sugar. I have been co coaching blood sugar since I think 2008, 2009. I love the fact that it's really got going um, and people are really aware of it now. But yes, the first thing we've got to control is blood sugar. So that is, yes, it's a lower carb diet. It does not have to be zero carb. I'm not a fan of zero carb diets because I want compliance, right? Diets work because of compliance and diets fail because of compliance. So I'm not a fan of zero carbs, but here we go. So yes, we're going to control carbohydrates, remembering that blood sugar is not just triggered by the food that we eat. It is, it is triggered by stress and it is and is most certainly triggered by lack of sleep or poor, pure, poor sleep, which is in itself stress. So got to control blood sugar. Glycogen is in here. So glycogen is a storage form of carbohydrates. Glycogen is stored in our muscles and our liver. But for this reason, we're talking about liver. We're talking about the, the, the carbohydrates in our liver because the carbohydrates in our liver are the ones that can go out into circulation and help. The ones stored in our muscles are a little bit selfish and they really kind of stay in the muscles. But anyway, um, so glycogen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't really hold that many carbohydrates in our liver. We're talking about a few hundred, so I'm not too worried about it. But... Um, but glycogen is, it can be the reason that you wake up with high blood sugar if you've had a bad night, night's sleep. Uh, and I like, if people want to do it and are willing to do it, and if it fits in their personality, I will use intermittent fasting because intermittent fasting will knock glycogen on the head. So I do like to use it in moderation. Um, I, I like to use a way of, uh, not with everybody, but of intermittent fasting that uh, it becomes easy and almost habitual for, for, for people. I do like that. And then we get to the fatty acids here. So yeah, we want to get to body fat. Now, this is a mistake I see a lot. And um, I am very guilty of this. So what happens is people figure out that, hey, my blood sugar, I've got it under control. Oh, my nutrient or my thingy is telling me this. I'm hey, ho, I'm good. But if there's too much fat in your blood, I'm not talking about the ketogenic diet here, not totally different story. Um, but if there's too much fat, dietary fat in your blood, why would your body burn off body fat when there's a bunch of dietary fat? So a problem I see all the time is people have mastered the blood sugar, they've got it under control. They may be even doing some intermittent fasting, and like, that's great. But then they eat way too much dietary, um, dietary fat. Um, because it doesn't trigger their the blood sugar, so they think they should be losing weight. But, you know, for one, dietary fat, that's a lot of calories. But for two, um, if there's a lot of dietary fat in your blood, why would the body use body fat? So um, if we control this, if we control this, this isn't so much of an issue, but um, fasting is really great for it. And if we are cognizant of our dietary fat, then yes, we will get to burning body fat. This is the oxidative priorities of the body. So when that comes to my approach to weight loss, and I, I really don't hang my hat on any one plan. I have my favorite approach, but it doesn't work for everybody. You know, everybody, I mean, when it comes to people, you've got to look at the tools, the tools that they present you with. So for some people, they're not hungry in the morning. So I'm going to use fasting because they're kind of doing it anyway. You know, if I get somebody that loves to run 10 miles a day, then I'm going to up their carbohydrates. I'm not worried about the, their blood sugar because they're burning it off straight away. So I don't hang my hat on one thing, but I do have my favorite approach. And my favorite approach is kind of following what I just showed you. So I am going to control people's blood sugar. I'm going to have them check their blood sugar. I'm going to make sure all their meals work to control their blood sugar, not zero carb. Uh, I'm going to, if they want to, uh, include intermittent fasting. I'm going to say probably 70, 75%, probably, probably even 85% of my clients that uh, try it 
actually love it and continue with it way after um, they've worked with me. And I'm really going to stress and explain that they have to control their dietary fat. Oh, for the people that I've seen that are like, oh, my blood sugar's all good. And what are you snacking on? Well, I had two keto bombs here and I had like four pieces of cheese here. Like, okay, your blood sugar's good, but there's too much dietary fat. So I'm going to do, and I should state here, I am a high protein girl. You'll never, I mean, that I'm a high protein girl. So I'm going to be high protein, low carbs, but there will be carbs. Um, I'm going to I would suggest uh, intermittent fasting. If it works, it's great. If it doesn't work, we don't have to use it. And I'm going to make people very, very aware of their dietary fat. And if we do that, we'll and, and we're in a deficit, then we'll we'll burn body fat. Uh, anyway, my Mastering Midlife program is coming up. It starts on June the 11th, so it's coming up next week. And I'm going to plug it till then because honestly, I won't be doing this program again for probably another 10 months. So. Uh, if you like what you hear, then I would strongly suggest, especially if you're of a certain age, I would strongly suggest you click the link. I just went blurred. There, I'm back. I would strongly suggest you click the link or go to midlifemonth.com. And it's an online group co coaching program. It is a month long, full access to me. I coach the bejesus out of you. I'm not the coach that sends you a text once a week. I'm there, right? Three live coaching calls, all recorded. I think there's 14 meal plans. Um, this is a big program with a lot of information. Um, all the meals are designed for weight loss, but we start really soon. We start June the 11th. If you like what you heard in this video, I would really suggest you click the link.